on your view welcome to the show i am mariah for lobby brand as always i never did this alone i have the lovely ladies in the building good morning. Yo, yo, hi good morning. yk welcome back thank you so much <laughs> thank uh, you good to, good to see you yeah good to see you, you. Look you're great. looking good thank you oh, yeah, i sorry. watched you yesterday and day before i said yeah, mariah is getting her shape back quickly <laughs> <laughs> yes so it's better it's better thank you very much yo 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 audience thank you very much come always coming on wednesday morning thank you so much so, YK, you're dressing so lovely. So, what are you up to? Actually, I'm going to a funeral. Dressed like the queen. The, <laughs> the, this is the Ashwai B. I'm, I'm even surprised because... Is he an Agba -Lagba? No, he's 62. Oh. He's 62. My friend, well, he is my... We used to stay in the house. Tunji Braithwaite's son. Oh. Yeah, he, he died two weeks ago. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, only ah. 62. Goodness. And, um, well... He has kids, so maybe they are doing celebration of life. Mm. Oh, okay, mm. well. His sister was actually really brokenhearted. Right, you know? I know. So the um, no. Well, I hope you? I don't die at that age. Oh yeah. no, you're here Why for another. Yeah. Who's there now? Yeah, six yeah. Yeah, 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 there, yeah, yeah. Wow. You'll be around for another fifty-eight. I, mean, I know. Uh, uh, which one? <laughs> she wants to cost me now. She'll be around for fifty-eight years. All my mates would have gone. Well, let me be wondering okay. about. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. You will reach 80, 85 in Jesus' name. Amen! Yeah. Yeah. Be settled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I will still be wearing stiletto. You better then. don't try it. How you doing, Nima Jai? It's Moriah that is my focus today. Ha, what's so, abnormal people forget their wedding anniversary. Okay. <laughs> and then Moriah goes on Facebook and says that some people will carry it on. Yes, we will carry it on. Like that we are normal people, but abnormal people like more. Yeah. So, happy anniversary. Thank you. Honestly, yesterday on my anniversary, I totally forgot. My husband was actually Imagine about to wish somebody a happy too. birthday. I was like, well, happy birthday. He was telling the, sending the message to the person. I was like, wait, what's today's day, sir? February 19th. We now look at each other. Oh, God, it's our anniversary. <laughs> we totally forgot. Yeah. Well, look, bro, I said, well, we normal. I said, we normal. I said, yeah, we're busy normal. with the baby oh, and everything. Because yes. brother and her husband, too, they forgot their own wedding anniversary <laughs> last year. <laughs> That's too early. That's too early. Can you imagine? Don't forget three years. <laughs> she went to go and visit my auntie. It was my cousin. I said, ah, today is your anniversary. Oh, sugar. She says, oh. <laughs> so I asked that my cousin, please. Why did you write it? So Why? Like, you, you better so go and get married. Friend, now you remember another person. He gave her call me last night. I said, so what are you guys doing? I'm like, doing waiting. I am breastfeeding as we speak. Oga <laughs> <laughs> has gone to pick up the children in school. We're all right. <laughs> How are you doing, Mariam? Oh, I'm doing good. Um, my daughter, yeah. I know I've been talking about her mm. tongue pills. So we went to this particular hospital and I just wanted to say it. And because there was a lady at the hospital right. who had come in, it wasn't her, the day of her appointment, but right. she said she had pain and the nurse wouldn't let her see a doctor because it was not the day of her appointment. appointment. And she's saying to her, but I have so much pain. What do you want me to do? She was like, eh, but it's not your day. Ah, ah. So I'm just saying that there's a way that we handle, is it customer service no, now? No, no, no. How no, do no, we? I know the hospital you went and mm. I know they have an emergency ward. Except she doesn't come in with a card and goes to the emergency she has room a to card. wait to see a doctor to assign her to another doctor. Mm -hmm. She might wait for long. Well, I think the general idea is customer yeah, service. We, do, we uh, just yeah, need yeah, to treat. There's a way to, need to I treat. I said the hospital where I went for this, my finger. The doctor will okay. you need operation. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I, I know that team like this. Baby, you, uh. <laughs> I say, Amy, I just give you my finger with this attitude. I mean, let me carry my finger and be managing it. <laughs> okay, now. We need to All do right. better at the hospital. Let's go to break, Honestly. goodness. We actually had a news mention. Um, thanks to Cream Slices mm. for the beautiful cake they gave to us. I, every, I hear every Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. They gave us a lovely cake on Valentine's Day. And now here, thank you so much. To you. Hey. The audience enjoyed it last week. Right. Uh, it was Thursday. really nice. Let's go to break. No mind, Waiki. Waiki, stop assuming we won't do the needful. We will do the needful. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll try to understand the papers. Stay with us, we'll bring it yeah. back. <laughs> so we're going to start with the punch. I neck differs with Buhari over the death for ballot box snatchers. The position of the commission is that all violators of the Electoral Act should be punished according to the provisions of the Electoral Act, says INEC Chair. 
PDP plotting to snatch ballot blocks, it says um, President C. Lagos Ibano Expressway, gridlock persists on the Long Bridge. Ex-DG Daura no longer represents us, says DSS. Death toll in Kaduna attacks, uh, Kaduna attacks hits 130, says Al Rufai. Air to protest in human treatment of Ghana deported, as Ghana deports mm. 723 Nigerians. Ghana and Bayon. loyalists disrupt trader money disbursement in Ogun. I'm the fourth more ruthless dictators than Buhari says Atiku. Let's talk about the Ghana. I mean, I don't understand. Is it Ghana or is it uh, London? <laughs> It's Ghana. It's Ghana. They said that they, they are um, deporting them because they caught them for prostitution. Illegal. And illegal. Any of them stay. Yeah, illegal stay. They're, they're fighting. And they're always fighting on the road. The areas where Nigerians stay, they are always fight. So they should just carry their. Why can't you need a stay to live in Ghana? Are we not to have countries again? Because of the ECOWAS agreement, yes. you are entitled to at least three months. Without, but when you now overstay, yeah. well, can you overstay? In you can overstay, in Ga you, you can, can overstay here too. Yeah. Okay. You know, but we don't enforce they don't really way. enforce. Don't say that too, because the last in '84, when our president was, How old was this it? president, head of state, yes, okay. they did Ghana must go. Whoa. And that was then. Now we're talking about then. today. Hey, we're saying that Ghana is retaliating. Can we understand now. why now? I hope that kind of retaliation is that one. Our own is that there are Ghanaians living amongst us illegally, and we've not deported them. Yes, so, now. because of brotherliness, they should please leave our people alone. Like, eh? so our the ones they deported that time, who did they deport? Why? Ah! In Ghana was going to Why did Ghana move those parts? Do you remember? Why that was then now? Yeah. Yeah. Too long because that we know. Know. All go things back. are passed away, behold! All things have become new. You are the only one that knows that story. Between this country. Please, El Rufai, what's the Yeah, so El Rufai is asking that Kaduna State be given more troops during this election period because of the... Um, violence that happened last week. Right. You know, they had said that over 66 people were killed in the right. Kajuri local government in Kaduna State. Right. A lot of people did not believe. They mm. thought it was um, the governor just trying to, you know, get sent, you know, sentimental. being sentimental. Mm. Yeah. But it shows that people were killed and there are more than 66. There was about the number 130. To wow. They are mostly Fulanese. Right. So they have their a list of names. Right. The Fulani leaders are writing down okay. their names. So they fear that. that, you know, of course, these people will do reprisal. Yeah. You know, they are staff. So, he's begging so that's them, why the please. governor is insisting and begging for security to be beefed okay. up. And the Lagos Sibadon Express Road, right. the, the, I met them yesterday. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> Military. Uh, naval officers are there. Yeah. They have been added with police okay. and NSDC. Ah. All the everybody. everybody is there. To secure well, just the... make sure that peace is maintained All right. this period. To secure the trailers <laughs> that are on, on the bridge. <laughs> moving on to the nation. EFCC detains Atiku's man mm. over the $4 million cash haul. PDP presidency clash over Buhari's directive. Leah's father pleads with government to rescue his daughter. Mm. Balogun Fulani led Kwara APC Esco sacked. And Joshua Ring's New York ex um, exchange bill. So the major headline. Yeah, so Mr. Uh -huh. Godwin Onoja, he's also yes. known as, he's also the lawyer. He's allegedly to be known as a lawyer and also the treasurer of um, the former vice president Atiku. And recently it's not the Giwa Osage, is it Giwa Osage? Yes, sorry, God um Giwa Osage. Ui Giwa Osage. Yes. I'm so sorry, I'm mixing up the stories. Right. Ui Giwa Osage right. is the lawyer and treasurer to right. former vice president Atiku. Right. And he's been um, <laughs> detained. Because they found there's well, a relationship between him and a, a bureau de the share, yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the operator the show, the who yeah. who said who had who was um, transporting t over two million dollars, right. you know, right. from Abu um, from Lagos to Abuja, I think, mm -hmm. and it was bec and the money after investigation right. shows that it was money that has been put aside for election purposes mm -hmm. for the logistics wow. in the 36 states. So he's been detained right now. Yes, he's much. been detained, okay. and the government is trying to find out a lot more about this. Who has Leah's story? I have Leah's story. Yeah. So Leah's dad yesterday I watched um, TVC breakfast and they called him in on the show to talk about to, uh, in commemoration of the one year since her abduction, mm -hmm. and he is saying that you know he's calling out on the federal government to please fulfill that promise they made to him over a year ago that you know that they will rescue his right, daughter. That right. apart from the two ministers sent by the federal government, by the president to visit him, he has not heard from them anybody. anything from Even them. Even last week, I think I saw the mother yes, had a the press mom, briefing yes, with some people yes. also. So All right. he's asking them Let's to Let's move on to Daily Sun. Atiku yeah. to Buhari, your directive is unlawful. Mm. Customs detains four officers over the man's death in um, Ogun. No going back on February 23 election, says INEC. Army police warn troublemakers. Okoro Chao Zodima fight over Achiku. Let's talk very quickly about this um, 
uh, directive by our president. I know IK is probably itching to mention this. Yeah. <laughs> no, but really, we talked about it yesterday. We talked about it yesterday, but about it. I think INEC has responded saying that, listen, mm. they are going to go according to according the law. According to the law. So it's not about um, sugar shoot, uh, uh, not about I shooting. I just ask you one simple question. <clears throat> if the president talks and INEC boss talks, who will the troops listen to? Well, they're likely to do that, Commander-in-Chief. No, I think what the, but what INEC is saying things. that... Two things, quickly. If someone without arm picks up a ballot box, yes. there will be a different method. But someone arms, scares people, shoots, and then there's a military yes, man right. stand on standby, he's supposed to disarm him one way or the other. At the risk of your life, let's stop taking things out of context. This is politics that they're playing here. But, 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 Nima, they, but you can understand he people's said, perspective. At the risk of your life. You can understand people's perspective saying, how can that come from a president? I mean, that's supposed to be uh, uh, the president. Are we expecting uh, so when you say, we so you can to, choose his words mind carefully. Uh, mind me, oh. You can mind choose me. his words carefully. Maybe he could have chosen uh, better words to express the same. Uh, to be, better uh, words. Better you know, words mean. Do you know better what words you being, saying? See, right? See, listen. Yeah, do you know what? If you watch it, and then there's something about watching it, and then you can understand understand context and perspective and then there's something about it being in print it just makes it you know for certain i, I think that he's more sensitive to take things out of but then we can understand that no, 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 no. i think I that he can be about. more sensitive he exactly. would have been more sensitive in the words that he chose, chose. but then i understand I, after the explanation from yeah. INEC. we know our human. troops now Okay. When you give them directive, even if you just bend down, they can shoot you where you bend down. What are you saying? <laughs> well, okay, I don't know about that one. Ah, but let's okay. Talk, let's talk about men. I mean, you don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jared. Okay, let's talk about are the we, fact that the customs have actually arrested the four yes. officers involved Five. in the, um, the the smugglers. Yes, the, you the remember the video that went, I think we also we discussed this Monday. here. So four of those customs officers have been arrested and they are going to face a panel. Right. The um, controller general says that this thing must be investigated and the perpetrators punished. Right. Yes. But the okay. person that shot the gun is in hospital because he sustained um, yeah. injuries, injuries from the attack. Right. Okay. So once he gets better, All right, let's move on continue. very quickly now to Vanguard. We'll act according to the law, says Army. We talked about that already. Stock rebounds as Zenit Bank posts impressive result. ANEC records 98% card reader con con uh, reconfiguration. Alawa Kalasan fired as local government boss in Oyo. Hoodlums disrupt federal government's trade money program in Ogun State. And don't allow external influence in your decision, Peace Committee tells INEC. So trade money was disrupted uh, in Ogun yes, State. So, yes. Hmm. Aside, I wanted to really say, I, I hope that the uh, ZD Bank growth will translate to better welfare for the their workers. Money. The trader money in Ogun State, in Abiyokuta, they were going for the trader money distribution. And these guys, one Shokule guy, says that on the order of the governor, they went into the market to disrupt no. Distribution me, of the money. Let me tell you what I read. What I read is let that. me finish she's, reporting okay. what I read. Okay. I'm not changing it. It's in the but paper. Not, it's not in the I'll tell you what I read. Okay, I'll say it Nima, quickly. Nima, let me tell you that they had heard that they were the bonds were distributed when uh, the, the, the bio data were taken alongside PVCs, yeah. and on that instruction, the governor was wondering why bio data was taken with the PVCs of the exactly. market. So that was that was so the, the trigger. The trigger to the market. Took the yalaja. Yeah, and the Baba, Baba, Baba Lodger, and the later returned. So what happened was that to and get the trader money, they took that to the governor's office. To get yes, the trader money, why can you need to provide your PVC along, alongside your data, bio data? No, so hang it, hang it, hang it. And identity, and mostly they have PVC. Wait, it was mostly PVC. The paper said PVC. The same thing, same so thing. So when information got to the governor, wait, eh? Somebody is collecting PVC in the market. Kia, 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 he said somebody. Wait, you go out, arrest at sight. So they went there and disrupted. Grabbed all the allergies and the and everything. They will look at you. And eventually they now found that, okay, you're trying to do trade when they now release so them. They released them. Yeah, just mm. I just saying. Okay, okay, you know, state is just, I mean, t twice in the new local news government for, chairman. for throwing rocks at, you know, I, I, people I, I, that yeah, came and then this. I, I, I need to ask you guys. You got, um, I was the, there yesterday. This, this they said in a new video, Buhari appeals to voters to turn out on Saturday. Is that it? Did anybody watch that video? Mm, no, we've not I seen the video. Didn't video. Okay, I didn't see that either. Okay, let's go on a break. When we come back, a celebrity couple we're trending over the weekend, and lots of people have been talking about their controversy. We'd like to hear your thoughts and also hear the ladies' views on it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So news broke out of a celebrity couple, actors that were um, on social media, where the husband called out his wife on social media. 
So the, uh, he's an actor. He came out to level some allegations against his wife, accusing her of neglecting their daughter so she can party with her friends. However, Nigerians have been reacting to the way he handled the situation by putting it all, all out on social media. Now, we don't want to focus so much on the couple because the truth is that we, they are, it's their private lives and I'm sure, they, I'm sure they are managing their marital issues privately. However, the issue of a woman trying to be a high flyer, do well in her career versus taking care of the family and then a, her spouse calling her out on social media. There's so many angles to be using social media as a tool to resolve marital um, um, matters, um, trying to achieve great things as a woman also. So there's so many angles to this, but we'd like to hear your thoughts very quickly on it. 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Let me, let's run down because this I think is actually more, uh, is a topic we can actually take for a whole day. It's because it's beyond just the couple. There's so much in-depth analysis that is need required for this kind of conversation. But just very quickly, what are your thoughts? Because everybody's talking about it, so we might as well just get the ladies' views on it. My, Who wants to go first? Yes, I'll go first. My own is I just feel that when love has left the building, this is what happens. Oh, really? So you think yes. love has left the building? Yes. Okay. Um, because um, the only reason I feel you come to social media and call a partner out is to publicly shame them. Mm. Because this is something that can be handled. And then there's something about what he, me what he mentioned, if it is true, what he has alleged that she's done, <coughs> if it is true, it, it is bad from looking from the outside. Right. Because sometimes, if you look at it, we're all in our, you know, in our homes as mothers and as wives. There's some things that an outsider looking in will think, how does that happen in this home? But right. well, because you love each other, you're a family, you understand mm. the way and, you know, that it happens. And looking at it also, because it's somebody that, I mean, the, 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 the woman in question is an American, Nigerian American. So she was born in the Bronx. This is the woman that came to Nigeria and she blew. She got a role in Tinsel. She became the host of a major reality show. So living the Bronx, coming to Nigeria, was like living the Nigerian dream. You're doing great things. This is her, she's at her prime, 28, 27, 29. This is, the, this is where she's, she's a high. She's doing the out. She's out there. Her going to parties is not to go and drink and to go and party. It's probably to, 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 ne um, to network, to meet people. So it is, this is her career. Now, as a husband, should you understand her path? Or should you say, you know what? You have decided to marry you. Come home at a certain time and take care of your child. What, how does a husband juggle the, the, the thoughts of his wife being a high flyer and also being a responsible mother? Um, let me... I, <clears throat> what I would say here, because I, to me, if you decide to have children, right. you have to take the responsibility right. of your children. Okay. I, I, think, I think it's very important. Okay. And that's why, one, I don't think people should marry too early. Okay. God That's bless you. I always tell them that. You don't listen to me. I, listen, I tell them that. So they don't, Nima never listens to me, but go ahead, YK. <clears throat> Number two, even if you decide to marry early, right. you don't have to have kids. You Immediate marry thing. in 2015, have kids in 2016. Yeah. For what? Enjoy yourself. Yes. Enjoy your marriage. It is in that marriage, that enjoyment, that you know whether we are compatible, yes. we should have these children or not. Because when you now have the, the, ch the child has Comes not become your responsibility. Right, right. Right. Now, what if you leave your child with a nanny, a nanny or so, and then they kidnap the child, one, molest. they molest <laughs> the child, two. There are so many mm. ifs that mm. can happen. Right. Now, the man who is now calling out his wife, where were you? Why didn't you say sit in the exactly. house child? Abi? Exactly. But he's saying... Because you can, she can go out, you stay, you can go out, she stay. So, well, you can take it in what turns. Said, Let me it's ask not the first, you. second, third, or fourth time. It's been happening. So Let obviously, me, exactly. according to him, this is only the social media where he knows that he'll get our attention. Maybe Let that's me why he went that far. That, you know, because when you have a difficult partner now, whether male or female, you have a difficult partner who is un you are unable to communicate with. You can't even sit down and have a conversation with in a marriage. It will push you to anywhere. You will talk to outsiders. And I'm saying this because... I'm using this platform to talk to young marriages. I've seen this week, in my, last week in my office, I almost died dealing with couples and uh, marriages. It's difficult when you're in a, a marriage or a relationship and it's, you're unable to communicate or converse with your partner. What it will push you to, you cannot control. Sometimes on unmentionable things, right. and one of it is to go on social media and call out that partner. So it's important when your partner is trying to say something, you pay attention, no matter, no matter, how, no matter how flimsy you think it is. Right. But as YK said, 
some women, because of this feminism thing that you, you're coming from the Don't Bronx. Moriah, please, please let me drop, drop this information. Okay. You're coming from the Bronx, you're coming from anywhere. You, you're in a battle of whatever with your spouse and you think he's not supporting you. Assuming. I take a hundred percent responsibility for the children that I bring into this world. Yeah, that's the way. No, I'm not the assuming. Bronx. That's no, I'm just but saying me... because some women come from that side and say, What why didn't he he's also the dad, he also has a responsibility. Right. Leave right. that issue right. for when both of you are okay. dealing with yourself. Let me bring it to Take care of your children, Where you have your Something about, responsibility um, for them. Love, being left, love has left the building. Now, is it possible that if you really, truly love your spouse, you, regardless of who is responsible to take of the child, you will make that sacrifice, which you was saying. You are the father, yes. Your wife, you married her at her prime. This is not, you didn't marry uh, Suraj Taylor's uh, daughter. You married Osas Igodaro. This is a babe. Just this is a woman that is, that is, that is, that is, that is she's out there. So you should, it comes with the territory. It's part of the hazard okay. of, the, of, the, of, the, of the business. You know, you know, a lot of people say that it is good for people in this sort of industry to marry oh, each other because they understand, they, they understand the industry. So usually they're meant to work as a team. Right. and not against each other. Well, but there's the always a problem they, they say that happens in this industry is that when one partner is on the up and up and the other one seems not to be, you know, they, it breeds jealousy. Ah, so it could it be that he's jealous of the fact oh, that she seems okay. to be going yeah, yeah, up Moriah. and so he cannot handle it? Because for me, there's no reason to bring it out in public. You, right. what, what is the public supposed see. to help you with? What is the public see. supposed to tell see. you? You know, because I heard this story, sorry, Nima, mm -hmm. I know you want okay. Because I heard this story, I went to the page mm -hmm. And I saw it's a private page. page. Mm -hmm. So you can't, if you're not following and he's mm -hmm. not following you, you can't access mm -hmm. the Mike, let me quickly take Chidi. He's been for a while. Chidi, are you there? Are you still there? Hello? Hello, go ahead, please. Thanks for joining yeah. the conversation. Good morning, Morayo. Morning. morning. And uh, I, I, I want to uh, go with uh, uh, Sister... Uh, 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 um, uh, yeah, Kuti, yeah, yeah. I, one thing I tell people is the moment you want to get married, and you settle down. Please get married and settle down and put in your legs in the house. The man in question, the man might have been telling this wife of a thing, correcting her. She will listen. But she's not taking the correction. That is mm. why he came out to, uh, to say it so the public will hear him. Because when you look at, some, sometimes you look at us blaming the man, blaming the man. Nobody has ever gone to ask what, what is the house, the man finding the whole thing. And for her to not take care of her baby is an offense. Nima, you know that. Okay. Child abuse. How can you do that to a child? You don't take care of that child. All right. What okay. child? All right. Let me I can we just give some to perspective say so. since he called. You see, a lot of people will say she doesn't take care of the child. You said five, uh, five times, or well, maybe she's done it five times. This is someone that takes care of her child 365 days in the year. So the five times that she's called does not necessarily make her a bad mother. There might have been situations where she did that, and he may not have agreed with it. And we in our homes, we have done some things that, because our partners are supporting us, it was OK. But someone looking at us from the outside would think, why would you do that? I know someone that used to have to lock her child, a five-year-old, in the house because she had to do things. She had no one to take care of the child. Looking in, looking into our home, like it's irresponsible. It's irresponsible, the safety of the child. But if she tells you all the things that she's able to mm. do because she had that. taught she her did, child how to stay on his yes, own. Let me let let me jump in. In. Nobody's judging the woman as not having done anything. But you see, this might be a battle of sexes. In the, okay, I have to do this, you're living your dream. I see, one person has to give. In my own marriage, a lot of times I'm the one who has to cancel appointments to make my children's day. And recently, just on Sunday, my husband just decided it means a lot to her, so I have to cancel to make that day. Sometimes it is your action that you use to communicate what is important to you. You can't sacrifice the well-being of your child for a career. That's the way me I see it. As long as you, you put that child first, if that marriage matters to both spouses, eventually he will get the message. Okay, why can't but you can't sacrifice the well, yeah. welfare of your child just to Nima, drive home a point to a man. Based on the way this conversation is going, you obviously this can't thrash it. We're mm. going to probably talk about it again sometime this week. But I want to go back to what YK said because something very, very profound. If you choose to marry, then you take like, care. Said, well, the problem now is that did she marriage. choose? Was she pressured? There's another angle of societal pressure. What is she? It wasn't really, really ready for that. And we saw the wedding. There's different angles. It was love. We saw this thing. Yeah, it was in Nigeria. 
Somebody's wedding. Let me mention the person's name. See, yeah. Flamboyant wedding. This particular one was, was, was love because so just last year she had pictures of him with the baby on his back doing some work in the kitchen and she was yes. celebrating. Okay, him. Let me take Irene has a last call now. <laughs> Irene, are you there? Irene. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Um, I mean, first time caller. Welcome uh, to the show. Uh, the and um, let me just quickly chip in my own opinion. So far as the two parties, I believe that they are supporting uh, among themselves. First of me. Oh, sugar. Oh, no. Okay, why do you want to say something? Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, look, because it has happened to me before. Right. When I had my baby and my mother passed on, and it was my mother I used to leave my baby with, I, there is no, I still wanted to travel all over the world. I removed my two legs, legs, left legs from that traveling and faced my child. Okay, no, that's not what you told us. You told us you carried your child along with you to the tour. I, Eventually. I my mother was alive now. Eventually. Okay. My mother would follow us on tour. Okay. Then after when she, be, she now started school, right. she stayed home with my mom. Oh, when yes. my mother passed on. Frankie, does it okay. matter that this, this man is not in Nigeria? He is living abroad while all this is happening. And hmm. she is the one. That is why I said. She's living like a single that mother said, right now. Okay, that is why I said the man too. Should take responsibility. Okay. Yeah. They right. are both respons okay. responsible for I that. I think we child. need to do a part two of this because it's not about, as I said, I mistakenly said the name of the couple, but mm -hmm. I really didn't want to focus on the couple, as I said, because they are probably resolving this okay. internally. They're but sweet. the issue is something that we, is, is practically general and something that we all need to look at and address. But let me let's take a few tweets. Okay, Smiles Photography says, with the nature of her job, she has to go out to make the money. Simple. And I've seen her with, with, with I've seen her with a lot of times with the child, and she's a good mother. And so. uh, Najafe says, calling your partner out on social media is totally unacceptable. Marital affairs should be kept within the house, not in public. Right. So, all right. So, if you're going to marry somebody who is a high flyer, you better be ready for the, the responsibility. High flyer. Yeah. No, no, no trust, when you're you sacrificing your child. Well, you know, you when know? she's like 35, 36, trust me, you don't have to tell her. It's instinctive. You come you home know. and you take care of your children. I right now, she's at a prime of bed. could have happened to the child in the Before, Oh, oh, okay. That's all. Let's go to break. That's all. Another serious topic that we have to discuss is to commemorate the World Day, uh, the World Day of um, Social, Social Justice. Justice. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. So in a totally different uh, angle in our society, we wonder if justice would ever, ever be served, especially with stories of innocent people mm. being victimized on a daily basis and perpetrators go scot-free. When did we get to this level? To commemorate the World Social Justice Day, we have with us in the studio, the human rights activist, Mr. Shegun Awosunya. Welcome mm. to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. If you don't know him, he was the he hashtag N hashtag. Guy. He's the one that N -Sars. N -Sars. brought down the whole <laughs> police country. <laughs> <laughs> and police but got them to at least, you know, the entire change. They're looking for you. Uh, they're looking All those for SARS people are looking for you. They are not in hiding. <laughs> actually, I mean, actually, well, finally, they, they, they've, they've actually cancelled us, right? Yeah, yes, that's exactly. what I said. They will be looking I for you. I was around, but I heard. The new IG, uh, the new IG came the, in and yeah. collapsed. Do you know how they, they oppressed uh, motorists? Mm. Do you know how? Uh, uh, we. It's okay, that is old. Ah. Right, let's move on. Please. <laughs> old things are you can call But I mean, thank thanks, you, Jare. Thanks to the work. Yeah, you started, it was a ripple effect. Eventually, we yes. got to the, to the solution. So it didn't happen overnight, but at least it's, you started the process. And gradually, we now find have, we have a decision where SARS has been cancelled. But going back to the issue of social justice, within the last couple of weeks, we've had a situation where a young lady was, um, they inserted her privacy with peppers because they said that she stole a phone. Mm -hmm. Issue of, um, um, jungle justice. Recently, the issue, customs. Even recently, the customs. Right in the press, in cold blood, murdered somebody in our in our very before. <laughs> so this is today. We're supposed to be remembering the International Day for Social Justice. And raising awareness. And we're raising this awareness, and we want to just hear your thoughts on how do we begin to stop or even reduce drastically this issue of injustice in our society. Thank you very much. First of all, um, I'm not going to re uh, release a paper here because I don't think anybody's going to get a certificate out of this program. <laughs> um, I just want to engage. Right. And to engage will be to let people understand what is. What exactly is social justice itself? Mm -hmm. It's just about a measure, a concept through which we will look at, we explore the relationship 
between the people and the society mm -hmm. are now fairly, you know, the distribution of wealth, distribution of uh, privileges and all are put in place. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at this in Nigeria where we have so huge of a social gap, you know, of uh, institutional gaps that leads to uh, the deaths of citizens, unnecessary deaths of citizens. Like somebody w once said that in Nigeria, everything is out to kill you. Mm -hmm. You know, everything. And hmm. when you want to begin to see how I we measure, you know, you begin to ask yourself, what exactly is our democratic responsibility as a nation? As when you say what somebody is coming into power or somebody is coming into government, what are they coming into government for? Are they coming into government to begin to force their own personal uh, preferences over the collective? Can or I pause are they? you for a quick question? Because yeah. we just watched the video concerning the customs. Okay. It wasn't the government, or it wasn't the president, or the the uh, the, the vice president that cocked the gun and shot. It was a citizen, an officer of the law. So. We, we can always blame the government, but when do we individually start taking responsibilities? Now, I was talking about the concept of social justice. Okay. And it is not just about the government. Right. Mm. Because when we even say government, what is government? Government is you and the people in power working together in harmony. Mm -hmm. So when you have a country where people don't know their rights, right. people don't know how to hold their government responsible, mm -hmm. and government don't see their responsibility to the people, right. they don't owe the people any duty of care whatsoever other than to mm. perpetuate themselves in power. And then when you say, when you say responsibility, that is responsibility, it is the job of every single soul within a republic, exactly. meaning that whether you are an individual, you are a company or firm, or you are a government, you have a responsibility to your society. Okay. And Shaga. that is what brings Shaga. you together. Okay. As much as we would like to say, you know, let's leave government before we discuss social justice, someone has to ensure, like a regulator, that, you know, there's a balance of distribution of wealth, privileges, and all other whatnot in a society. We cannot assume that you know government is blind to the trucks packed on our commonwealth, the bridges and the roads, and cause difficulty on the lives of others while someone is making profits. That is a, that there's no balance in that distribution. Someone is amassing wealth, and other people are suffering as a result of his uh, business. And government is not trying to do that balance. Of course, you think uh, government again, you will worry that you know there's something wrong in that society. Who will we now hold? Apart from ourselves, the person who is doing business, of course, is in Nigeria. Who should worry about other Nigerians? But someone should regulate because foreign investors also benefit from this kind of mm, injustice. Right. So who should regulate? Who? I think the problem lies with the citizenry. Mm -hmm. Because if the citizenry, you are the people, power belongs to you. So if you know what you need to, um, to question, if you know, for example, let me give you a very simple instance. You called in a mechanic to come and look into your car because your car has a problem. You don't know what was wrong with your car, but you know that what is not happening with your car. You know what you are not enjoying in mm -hmm. your car. And you bring in this guy, and he hit some things around, danced around, you know, went under and came out and said, your money is 52,000 naira. And then you, you, because you don't know what he has done, you don't know what to check, other than for you to experience the thing all over again, to know whether it has worked or it has not worked. And sometimes that can cost four years when I translate that analogy into running to politics. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you pay this guy off and he has for, for doing nothing, absolutely nothing. So the question is, how do we begin to enlighten the people enough to open their eyes to the things that they need to check, to the things that they need to, the, the boxes they need to check before they even listen to anybody campaigning for any office? Because it starts from there. The character of the, of the kingdom emanates from the king. If the people in government are responsible to us, we will be charged to be responsible to our nation, to be responsible to our society, because we are actually society. Right. We don't live in society. Yeah. We are society. <laughs> well, so the Edo State Governor in commemorating today Social Justice Day was talking about empowering women. And he talked about, especially in Edo State, that they still have a problem with inheritance. When a woman loses her husband or her father, she does not directly um, get her inheritance. That is not a government problem. Yeah. That's individuals yeah. in their homes to each other. Okay. We must take responsibility for our, uh, you know, our bad behavior as well. And the culture that we have just refused to let go, even exactly. though we know that it does not work for us. Okay, let me give you an example. In Nigeria, when we say government, like I keep saying, don't take the word as somebody from a political party who has taken, yeah, you know, well, we are, we are, we're talking about ourselves, our responsibility in society together with people who govern us. Now, when you look at 
individual, and that's why I said we have to look at the individual, right. the firm, and the government. That's people who are in charge of things. Now, when there's no responsibility on the government front, we start living a life as conditioned to what they call, I better pass my neighbor. Hmm. And what is I better pass my neighbor? The moment you can actually see yourself as doing better than your enemy, you are fine. So because of that, whatever anybody even else is going friend. through, Not even your friend, your no, anybody neighbor. around you, your neighbor, you know, whosoever it is, you know. So the moment you feel you are better, no matter what happens elsewhere, it doesn't concern you. Mm -hmm. So in a country where people don't take a responsibility for the pains of others, I'll give you an example. In America, when someone's only child gets, gets killed by social injustice, maybe by police or whatever, the, the woman will keep crying, not because that, that, that sure. sorrow can, will bring back the child. They will start an advocacy. They will start a foundation. Why are they doing that? Because they don't want that to be repeated in society. in society. They don't want any other person to go through their pains. Because when those pains are multiplied, hmm. you have a society, you have a slum of hope or, yes, mm. or despair where everybody lives to kill another. Mm. So out there, when people wielding guns on our street today, when you pick five of them, three of them are out to kill, out to extort, out to abduct, out to kill, to, to ensure that they exploit somebody mm. within that day. And they don't mind killing that person at the end of the day. Yeah, mm. and I, I really like what you say about the gap between the rich and the poor. Mm -hmm. It's part of this social, because the front page of Punch today, I saw pictures of the Amajaris, mm. and they were eating food from a truck that had, they were eating the food from the ground. How, what are we doing in this country that there is such a major gap, wide gap, very w huge, between the rich, hmm. the middle class, and then the poor. They are middle class. They, I mean, yeah. there, is the, there, there, are, there is even the poor. Then there is the extremely the poor. dirt poor, like those Amajaris. And we are, we are watching, we are seeing this injustice, because it is injustice, and we are... Look, a lot of people have gone through that punch, and they didn't even see that cover. Hmm. Mm. They did not even see right. those people. Normalized. Right. We have normalized. It's normal. Yeah, it's normal. But it's not normal. Um, we, yeah, go ahead. I, I, I think we need to begin to look at it from this perspective because in Nigeria, if we talk about the problems, we can be here for years. Yes. Yeah, so. But let's begin to look at how civilized societies, a responsible society led by sane people, mm -hmm. how they engage their environment. How can a woman who has served and lived with her husband for years, you know, begin to have agony because the husband died and then families don't want her to inherit uh, their properties? Mm -hmm. How can we live in a state where if a president is coming, the trucks can disappear within 48 hours. And, and then, then why, come back. The, why the citizens who are being asked for votes, you know, cannot live their lives? They are being robbed because of traffic jams, unnecessary traffic jams on our road. How do we begin? Now, there's something called the civil, uh, civic registration. Can I add something okay. there? Yeah. Uh, how can they say they will do election, and then within three, four hours, they cancel the election, everybody has lost money, you are in your house, you can't go out, no transport. No wedding. That no wedding. Is, no eh? party. <laughs> Which part is this? It's the Nigerian factor. Eh? The Nigerian factor. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead, Shekha. There's, 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 there's something like she said about a dual state government, that they are trying to empower the poor. The, for, the problem again is, who are the poor? Do we have data? So there's something called the civic responsibility as a vital statistics. You understand? And what is this thing called? This, what is this thing? What is it about? It is about the taking of the data collection of biometrics of people, you know, Probably people are doing driver's license and uh, mm -hmm. people are doing passport. I'm sure there's no country like Nigeria when it comes to that. Everything. We do vital statistics for buying Everything. food. Mm. We do for bank. Everything. We do for tinted glasses. Everything. In fact, when you, wear, when you wear glasses on your face, they can ask for your tinted permit. Unfortunately, <laughs> we, have to on a break. we have to go on a break. When we come back, I, I like us because <laughs> we are trying to bring awareness to this issue of social injustice. Mm. And we already know our problems. Yes. Everybody what can we do to solve it? So not, not even the solution. What? The, the, I, I really want us to bring this to what we can do individually because a woman posted this thing because of 5,000, they can't keep person, not 5,000. The whole of Nigeria is talking about it because she posted it. Mm -hmm. So was she being responsible? What can we do to continue to bring awareness to social injustice in our country? Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So let's jump really quickly to our audience. Somebody has a question. Go ahead, please. Hey, 
YK talked about the gap between the rich and the poor in this country. So how do we really close that gap? between the rich and the poor? What are Many the practical years. steps? <laughs> <laughs> Closing the gap, okay. Let's the, the, while you're answering that question, let's have the next question, but go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Because to close all these institutional gaps, we all have to be involved. Nation building is not just the job of people you put in power, but the job of every single citizen in the country. You have to come together, you have to agree. Rather than come together on social media, you have seen what we have done on social media for the, for the past two years. We've been able to use it to bring social justice in terms of curbing police brutality. Mm -hmm. So you can actually use it to come together and speak in one voice as a, uh, on pro poverty, on health care, on there are several other things. Look at the sustainable development goals and pick one out of them and say, look, for me, I am standing for um, life below water. For me, I'm standing of accessibility to clean water. For me, I'm standing for power, for electricity. Without electricity, how can you even be able to function? How can you create jobs in a country where, you know, if you don't know somebody, you are dead? Okay, so, can I, can I, I, I want to, to, to add a bit to that. I'll come to you now. Yeah. I, have, I have a personal problem with that phrase, closing the gap. Because I feel like there's nothing like there's no gap. Because you are driving a limousine in the midst of poverty, you're all poor people. Exactly. Like, so <laughs> closing the gap for me is relative because really, when when that video broke out of that of the of the customs officer shooting that innocent man, there's some able, there's some rich middle class people who saw that video and said, you know what, if I was there, I would kill, I would have thrown a stone and killed the custom man myself. Or I've set him ablaze. People had that mentality like this man deserves jungle justice. No more people. So where's the gap? We're all thinking alike. Just like you're in one is in suit, one is on the streets, one is has money, one is has We're all in the same boat. So, so, so can we really close that gap? Even your thoughts, for me, thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> the way I'm thinking, yeah. is, it pos is it even possible to close if there's a gap? Look at education, for instance, now. We've permitted, because we have allowed, we, we now run a capitalist system, private schools to run. And there's no way that permission is done. Someone that does a business that can get more for it, and we have the same status as our public schools, something will give. Mm. Do you understand? So the standards of our schools is because there's, a, there's an alternative to it. Our hospitals, there's an alternative to it. The rich man's hospital is different from, something will give. One person, one, no, the, the two rich of man's the, hospital is in London. No? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ordinary head day, Dubai. Do you understand? Something will give. As long as there's that alternative, it cannot right. work. So, I, mean, I, think, I, I think when we say gap, mm. gap does not really mean that how well off I am and how poor you are. Right. Mm. The gap means the, the lack or the death of engagement of people who can do something about that problem, mm. you know, from engaging. That's mm. the, the gap, gap that is there. Okay, for example, what is the gap between police madness and, um, and, and lack of service to the people? The gap is because of the Constitution. In the Constitution, mm. the Police Act is a cake. It's 75 years old and it doesn't have any reflection of mm. today's society. Right. So that is a huge gap there. So mm. no matter what you do, pay police, ah. police officers 100,000 naira, they will still be robbing people Fantastic. on the street. So, so that is the gap. Yeah. So your question is, so that's why in those days of Fela, Femi, uh, Fawemi, Gani Fawemi and the rest of them, mm. you come to the street, you, you raise placards and what have you. Today we buy people who protest. Yeah. So mm. you, it, it doesn't really get there. So when people see you or politicians see you protesting, they assume in their mind by you projection pay. that somebody has paid you for it. So position. we cannot rely only on protest. Yeah. We have to begin to advocate. And what right. is advocacy? Understand the laws mm. that we have. Know the differences between the society and the laws that are available, oh. and then begin to bring them together. I'm feeling you, bro. Yeah. I'm feeling you. Real good. Let, me go, let me go to another member of the audience. Go, uh, go ahead with your question, sir. Follow up to that. How can the generality of people have access to that institution that will teach them their rights? that will teach them to be able to stand for themselves mm -hmm. and that will teach them the rule of law. Okay. How can we have that easy access? We have several advocacies running now, but let me first begin with this. Let's look at education. We don't have education in Nigeria. Mm. Just as Nigeria is not in Africa, Nigeria is in trouble. You know, and people, Nigerians, are not living in Nigeria. They are living in chaos and trouble. And why? Because you think that cardboard that you have added to another cardboard from NYC camp will guarantee you a job. That is indoctrination. That is not education. And so because you are not educated, you can know your rights. And if, because you are, your right is not included in the curriculum that test. educates you, that they educated you, mm -hmm. when, did, when your rights are taken away, you will never know it. Mm. Mm. So that is not by going to school that you know your mm. rights. It's not by going to school. So, so, 
we say we say there's a gap because some people we went to know. private school and some people went to public school. Yeah. For God's sake. You both remove your mind from that. Yeah. Both, of them, are not both of them are literal, they are assembly line literacy program. Wow. Which means that nobody is actually thinking for themselves. Can we take is there hope? Okay. We are like robots. Because we're talking Nibadi about the tweets. Ni ah, tweet so 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 let me start. Why can't you get to the question? Sustainable developmental goals. And uh, we are talking about things like trader money. We mm. had someone come here and talk about all the um, schemes that the government has put in place to help people. Right. And mm. I think essentially try and close the gap. Yeah. But we seem to be so distrustful mm. of this good work that the government is doing. Could we learn to be less cynical and just accept this? Do you have... I, I, I wish. wrong person to be asking that question. I, I, I wish. wish. I wish. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. The question no, no, no. No, no. The question is yeah. that. Yeah. Because there are, to be honest, is that there. Just let, let me answer that. Okay. Okay. The, the thing is this. You know, I, I, started, I started by <laughs> trying to say that we need to look into the, um, the civil registration and vital statistics, mm -hmm. which means that you want to know within your population, you have 120,000 children or 190,000 children, for example, or 200,000 children. You must know out of this population, right. how many of them have jobs? Yeah. How many of them are healthy? How many of them fall between the ages of 18 mm. and 35? Yeah. What exactly are their needs? Yeah. These are the things you need to kind of understand. And that's why you begin to register people. Right. Yeah. People register for all these things. You take their biometrics. But in this country, we have several, yeah. several biometric systems Useless. There's no harmonization, and every time people make money from the registration, right. and what exactly is this okay. registration for? Okay, it is for <laughs> government to be responsible to you, to give to you. Yeah. Well, how many of this registration gives to you? None. The only one that could have given to you is the NIMMC. You understand? Yeah, see, and and that in MMC, because I've it is supposed to give to you, it has been frustrated. Okay. It will never we have to run off. Sorry. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Yeah. But can I rush a few tweets, YK? Please, oh, just give oh, me yes, a yes, please. I'll, I'll come, come to you. Just oh, my God. Okay. Okay. okay, sorry. Ahead, How can we ask the question, who are the poor? In every three Nigerians, there is one poor person from World Poverty Clock. So whatever social investment program is embarked upon, all levels should be encouraged. You take one. asking who are poor. Okay, Omoyama says, well, I believe before he came... Okay, sorry. Yomi Edu says, you are driving a limousine in the midst of poor people. He My was, guy, you are poor. Quote Moriah. Right. Let me let, me, uh, let me let you have that story. Sorry, Miriam, this one. <laughs> My main man, Okuri Meta, I said girl link is on your view. All right. So, let me let you have that story. See, the last word. The, lady, last word. <laughs> see, the, the thing is this. She, you mentioned something about trader money. In a society where poverty is not engaged, mm. but it is cultured, mm. so that some people can seem to be working, then they, you, you, it shows that you have poor people and poor-minded souls leading you. Mm. You don't throw money at poverty. You engage the people and foster productivity. So poverty need, is lack of productivity. We need productivity. deliberate leadership that will plan with We have to run off. Thank you. We have exactly. to run off. Exactly. All we ask is that just exactly. come and vote and no council the vote on <laughs> No council the election on Saturday. Yes. Go out and vote and let us ensure that we get the right leaders. Oh, have a fabulous day. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. The council is my